Peace brothers and sisters who have arrived here on this channel. This video is just a quick update about the hour that we have been expecting the birth of Revelation 12 and the rapture to happen. And this information that I just uh, discovered recently here uh, may add some more uh, things for us to be hyped about because uh, this is a key information that most people forgot in the Bible that relates to birth and purification. So, what I just discovered here, I will just quickly uh, move around here so you guys can see what I have found out about the moment that we have been expecting the rapture to happen. So, going here quickly to Stellarium, we were watching the asteroid child to be birthed here on the Virgin right when the the Jews were pointing that this is to be the Feast of Trumpets. So, on the 14th year of September, the child asteroid was still inside the Virgin's womb. And then on the 15th, it starts to get out of the Virgin, all the way until the 16th here, that it actually leaves the womb. But by the 15th, at night, it was leaving the womb of the Virgin here. So we were expecting a rapture to happen here, right uh, when it left the Virgin, and the Jews were saying Rosh Hashanah or Feast of Trumpets. Everybody was expecting the rapture to happen on the Feast of Trumpets, and right there on the 15th, on the night of the 15th, that's when they call Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets, 16th and 17th, and nothing happened. And as we were checking out Revelation 12, the woman and the dragon, expecting the child to be uh, taken, snatched up to the throne of God, I remember that the child is not actually taken up as soon as it comes out of the Virgin, because there is another uh, information in the Bible that points to a purification period of time for the, the child to be taken up and then I, when I searched it out I found out that it, it is actually on Leviticus 12 as well so it is 12 again and there is this purification after childbirth so if you read here you will see that a woman who becomes pregnant and gives birth to a son will be ceremonially unclean for seven days just as she is unclean during her monthly period. On the eighth day, the boy is to be circumcised. So, the first thing here, there is a period of seven days, and then on the eighth day, that the, the boy is to be circumcised, and then the woman must wait 33 additional days to be purified from her bleeding. So, on the total, there could be 40 day delay, or for the boy, it might be just seven days delay, and then on the eighth day he is circumcised or the flesh is cut out, that could also imply the rapture. So if we check here on the Hebrew calendar, from the 15th, adding seven days, we get to the 22nd, all the way until the 23rd of September. So the night of the 22nd from until the, the night of the 23rd of September, that, that could be the eighth day that the child is circumcised and that's very important because we might just be a day or two away from the rapture if the circumcision of the boy that was just uh, was just being born here on the virgin is to happen on the eighth day so that could be the reason why we are waiting a couple more days for the rapture however if we have to wait 40 more days, then we need to calculate this and adding from the 15th of September. Adding 40 days, we reach the 25th of October. And then for the Jews, the 25th of October is going to be the 10th of Heshvan for them. The 10th of Heshvan, it is the 10th day of the 8th month and that's precisely the date that Noah entered the ark. Very interesting that the date that we arrived after 40 days is actually 
the tent of Hashem for the Jews, which is translated as the day Noah entered the ark. For us that knows that they are about one month ahead of us, the tent of Hashem for them will be the tent of Tishrei for us. So that will be the day of atonement. So on a Jubilee year, the last trumpet is always played on the day of atonement. For them, this will fall on the 25th to the 26th of September. So the 24th, 25th and 26th of September, that's the possibility for the Day of Atonement Rapture for the Jews. However, for us, that will be the 9th, 10th and 11th of Elul. That wouldn't mean much on our calendar, but that could happen still as a sign for the Jews if we are on a Jubilee year. But if we pass the 22nd, 23rd of September, then 24th, 25th and 26th of September and we are still here, then we can uh, look at Sukkot, which is Tabernacles for them, 29 and 30. And after that, we will look 40 days ahead on the Feast of Trumpets for us, 15th and 16th of October. And then the 24th, 25th and 26th of October, which will be precisely 40 days uh, of purification for the woman that gave birth to a child, a male child. That's the male child of Revelation 12 that we have been expecting to uh, be taken out, snatched up to the throne of God. And as I found out that Leviticus 12 has to do with Revelation 12. And also I remember that Genesis 12 also uh, relates to Revelation 12 as well. So we're seeing a pattern here of the 12s. Revelation 12, Leviticus 12 and Genesis 12. Which is the call of Abraham to the promised land. We're expecting the rapture to our promised land. Because we are the promised bride that will go into the father's house. So we were seeing a pattern of the 12 and I went to check more um, passages of the Bible with the 12 chapter. So Exodus 12 is clearly related as well because it is talking about the Passover. So Passover, we are uh, expecting our Passover which we will pass from the land of the Egypt which is this world towards the promised land which will be uh, the father's house. So, we're seeing here Genesis 12, Exodus 12, Leviticus 12, how about Numbers 12? It also relates as well, because this uh, story here on Numbers 12 is about Miriam and Aaron opposing Moses. And then because of this, God rebuked them, and this happened to Miriam. So, the Lord replied to Moses, if her father had spit on her face, would she not have been in disgrace for seven days? Confine her outside of the camp for seven days. After that, she can be brought back. So, a seven days period of time because Miriam was opposing to Moses. She got, uh, she was leprous because of that for seven days. So, seven days of purification for the child. And on the eighth, it is circumcised. And a seven days delay here on Numbers 12 as well. How about Deuteronomy 12? We see here the one place of worship. If you read this chapter here, it is talking about the rest. Take a look. But you will cross the Jordan, we will cross our Jordan towards the Promised Land, and settle in the land of the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance. The inheritance for us is heaven. And He will give you rest from all your enemies around you so you can live in safety so that's very interesting because we are seeing our enemies the illuminati those that control this world they are trying their most to control people to uh, persecute people they're trying to wrap people around this world government and force them into receive whatever they want to put inside our bodies so we are seeing our enemies coming around us to grab us from every place and God will give us rest from this for us to live in safety in heaven. So very interesting that also Deuteronomy 12 fits as well. So Genesis 12, Exodus 12, Leviticus 12, Numbers 12 and Deuteronomy 12. That's the five books of Torah. I also found out that Psalms 12 is related as well because 
in this psalm here, God also talks about purifying seven times. So the wicked are going to be stay behind. He will purify seven times in the seven years tribulation. Very interesting as well. On the Psalms 12, he reminds me of Micah 7. And also Isaiah 12, a hymn of praise. And that's talking about we go into Zion, where the Holy One of Israel will be in our midst. So, very interesting as well, Isaiah 12. And the last one here, Acts 12, also it's related to the 12 pattern. Because on this chapter, Peter is free from prison by a miracle from God. So, we can understand that we are inside this prison, which is this world, which prisons us for many reasons due to the flesh that we live and Peter as well is a type of that and to be miraculous escaping the prison means that we will leave this place this prison this world with a miracle with the rapture that God will bring to take us out of here so very interesting as well that the 12 means something and it's related especially because we have been expecting a childbirth and Leviticus 12 talks about this. So it fits a pattern for us to expect a seven days late on the 8th perhaps, on the 23rd of September, that will be the 8th day since the asteroid child came out of the Virgin, so we can expect that, or 40 more days, which will bring us to the day Noah entered the Ark for the Jews and the uh, Day of Atonement for us. And just to confirm it, a little bit further, the 22nd and 23rd of September, I remind you that from the problem that we had in 2020, when they officially announced it, adding 1,290 days gets us to the 22nd of September, and from the deal of the century from Trump in the 27th of January, adding 1,335 days gets us to the 23rd of September, so precisely that moment there. So just to recap here, we can be expecting the rapture right now, today, and a couple days from now, all the way until the 26th of September, and then 29th September until the beginning of October, which will be Tabernacles for the Jews, until the 8th of October, and then on the 15th and 16th of October, which will be Feast of Trumpets for us, all the way until the 24th, 25th, and 26th of October, which will be the 40 days delay and true Feast of Atonement for us, while for them will be the day that Noah entered the Ark. So that's our watch dates that we have to expect the rapture in this last months of 2023 that everything still applies on. So we can expect the rapture in the next few hours or the next few days or at most up to 40 days there on October. That's why I wanted to bring this video for you guys in order to make you realize that God is still with us, is still teaching us, is still providing us answers of when He may come to take us home. So amen. I hope this has blessed you. I hope that you keep on looking for the rapture because we are very, very near. I hope that we meet very soon in the air. And I'm very sorry that I had to do this in a video format because my computer is not lasting long with a live stream. I'm losing a lot of latency here and it's lagging my whole computer with just a few tabs there on my computer. That's more than enough for it to freeze over and I basically had to redo it. So I'm very sorry. I hope that we are finished here, about to be raptured into heaven as the male child from Revelation 12, perhaps today or tomorrow, a few hours from now, who knows. I hope so, and I hope to meet you all in the air very, very soon. Amen. Maranatha.